Hi guys, Jordan here. I uh, needed to duck out and thought I would just kind of ride by the city just to show you uh, how empty it is now. It's, uh, it's a Friday afternoon here in Melbourne post the war and usually at this time uh, sorry about the wind usually at this time it's incredibly busy um, we're kind of coming up on the CBD right now this is Victoria Street the speed limit is 40 and usually this is very backed up and these spots are usually all full uh, as you can see they're not at the moment a lot of what I'm saying you'll probably be able to just see with your eyes so for this video you could probably just turn me off and just watch it that's a very cool BMW very nice uh, yeah so no pedestrians unusual some cars and trucks doing their thing that they usually do and I'll turn right on Collins Street and just kind of drive down there just so we can have a squiz this is what are we, Burke Street next one, and I'll come up Burke Street just to have a squiz that's definitely a red line <laughs> that that truck went through also, this is the smallest and cutest traffic light I think I've ever seen in my life so that's great uh, yeah, no cars. So we're going on Collins Street with the um, with the trams. Oh, I thought that green light was for me. There's coppers in the distance. That's exciting. So usually at this time, it's like back-to-back -back trams. Um, and sometimes it's just faster to walk, even if you're catching a tram, which is quite funny. Uh, but obviously there's no cars at the moment, so that's not really the case. Uh, I thought that was a red light. I bought a new microphone, uh, by the way that I can talk while I ride. So it's gonna be take a while for me to get like the levels and stuff right. So apologies for this in advance. Those are very bright leggings. I believe this does say keep clear. But that's all right. Nice bike. Scrambler and a little rub thing. I might chuck a oh, hooky tea here. Which could be fun. quite sure if that's exactly how you're meant to do them, but I don't actually know, so uh, we'll find out shortly when I'm arrested. Oh, we're in Burke Street right here, so 
think this is Elizabeth Street that we're on. Oh, and that is a pedestrian and a police car. Oh, thanks, buddy. Yeah, this is usually incredibly busy. Um, usually, like, it's quite easy to bump into people because it's so busy. If you're a pedestrian, it's not uh, a motorbike. Very nice, is that an old Suzuki? Or a new one? I don't know, they all look the same now. No back-to-back -back trams yet. Because, uh, uh, yeah, I doubt that'll happen. Um, there's just no one here. Please don't run me over. How good. Um, which is pretty cool. Because you definitely can't do that in Sydney or Canberra. Oh. Calm down. like that. It's a lawless society at the moment. <laughs> Very nice bike. Turn right here, do a bit of a loopy poop. Nice. I think now that I'm recording uh, my voice sometimes I'll realise probably just how much I talk. And I really need to think about how not every motorbike is nice, but most of them probably are. Also, it's very hard to see that traffic light. I'm glad I was not just run over by a tram. lane filter in Melbourne but I don't really have anywhere to be and there's not really much traffic so I won't be turn right here if you can looks like these are all turning right okay guys come on There are police everywhere at the moment. That's probably the most pedestrians that we've seen the whole ride. And I think it goes without saying that there are usually a lot more than this. Are those police? parked in like a no parking spot just so that they can get a coffee. Is that what being police is? Love that. Thank you for not running me over Mr. Tram. Oh, hello sir. Just coming through. Definitely a good time to be doing all this road work uh, because this would probably be chaos. If it happened at any other time than a global pandemic. Just gonna pop in here. Anyways, that's really all I wanted to say was that Usually it's busy, and now it's not. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Here we have a lovely court on the left, and a really cool old building. Uh, and 
as per my previous email, just lots of police everywhere. How do we afford this as a society? 